everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a used 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas. I didn't care for the painting that was on this canvas, so I put down a layer of the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. And today I'm going to do a waterfall pour split cup, and I got a new cup, and I'll show you that in a minute. I've already put my paints in this cup. But let's go over my paints. Again, the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White for the base. I'm using all Amsterdam paints today. I have turquoise blue. I have the Amsterdam Carmine. I have Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And the last one is Amsterdam Azo Yellow Deep. Four colors I'm using today in this pour. And this is the cup I just purchased. It's a four chamber split cup. You can see my colors in there. And it holds a total of eight ounces. So uh, two ounces in each of these little chambers. I will leave the um, name of the company that I purchased this from off of Etsy in the description if you're interested. So let's get started and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip my canvas a little bit here and just start pouring the paint from the top and letting it go down. All the way across here. No particular pattern or way, just letting it move down the canvas. Then I will do tipping as normal. have a little bit more paint in here that I want to use up. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way now. Because I do want to tip over this corner. Just get that or that, that edge, I want to get that edge covered. And while I'm doing that, I can talk about my pouring medium here. I forgot to mention that. It is two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I do add a squirt of GAC 800 to all my paints and also about a tablespoon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And I did not add any silicone today. So I'm just going to keep tipping here to get my canvas covered. And bring it back. I just used some basic colors here today. Nothing metallic. And I'm just going to keep tipping here a little bit and then take a look at it. Cover my corners. I do like the quality of the Arteza paints. And 
I'm going to tip this way. And down a little bit. And over and I think I will torch it and then I'll think about what I want to do with this painting Okay, the part I really do like about this is this purple up here and the yellow that's coming down. I've got cells coming up and in this area, the white is also acting with that purple. I'm going to see if I have a little bit more paint left here in my cup. See if I can add a little bit more to this painting. Just experimenting with this cup today, seeing what it's all about. Okay. And I am going to tip some more here. Quite a bit of paint still moving. And I'll bring it back, back to the middle here. And I'm going to tip off the far end there a little bit. And bring it down and take another look at it. Okay, I do have some purple left and I'd like to get some more purple here added at the bottom. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Just introduce some purple here. And now I'm going to run my uh, popsicle stick through this.
just to add a little bit of complexity for the eye to look at here. And then I'm, also, I'm going to tip again too. And then bring it back. See if I can get some of the paint to move a little bit more. Okay. I'll take another look at it. I'm going to clean off the bottom. Check my sides. Okay, I think that what I'm going to do now is run a chain through this painting just to see what we can, we can mix some of these colors up a little better. Try that again. Okay, I like that a lot better. A little bit more down here. And I will give it another torch. a little bit more tipping here just to see if I can get any more of this paint to move. It is moving just very slowly. And bring it back this way.
Okay. Cover my corner here. I'll get you down for a close-up. Again, this is a 12 by 12 gallery ripped canvas that I did a waterfall split cup pour. This is the upper left hand corner and I really like the top of this painting the most. It looks like the sky and planets. I'm gonna take you all the way across Here's a, this area is real pretty right in here. And back to the left. And coming down. Very busy, very busy painting. Very nice in here. And I'll take you up the middle here. And over to the right, upper right hand corner. And coming down onto the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it. Ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. It's Deb again. After I uh, let this painting sit for a while and I just kept looking at it, I wasn't very happy with how the top and the bottom looked. They weren't very cohesive with one another. So I thought, what can I do to improve this painting so it's a better flow? So what I did is I took my small chain and I just started at the top and I just uh, dragged the chain several times from the top down through the bottom, as you can see. And it, I just think it really added something to this painting. And I'm much happier with it. And I just thought I would share that with you all. And leave me, leave me something in the comments if, if you agree that it looks much better now. And uh, I look forward to those comments. And until next time, take care. Thank you. Bye.